uh, so in the last video we are discuss about the inbuilt pipes which is uh, provided by the angular uh, so in this video we are going to create our custom pipes so let's get started so guys uh, we are going to create the power pipe so it takes the exponential value as a argument and it gives the of the that power of that value okay so everything in the type script is a class so we have to create the class and and we have to decorate um class with the pipe decorator okay so open our visual studio and let's create our power pipe okay so guys uh, right uh, create the file for the pipe so right click on app new file power pipe dot ts i'm giving this giving the name as a power dot pipe dot ts okay the file name now let's create our class export class power pipe okay uh, and uh, if you want to create this class as a pipe so we need to decorate this uh, decorate the power pipe class by pipe so let's import it import pipe from so it is situated in the angular core library so uh, at the rate angular angular slash core okay let's decorate it at the rate pipe this take uh, this function takes the json object so uh, it having the property called name so it denote the pipe name okay so i am calling it as a power one more thing we need to require to to make this pipe work so we need to import one interface called a pipe in pipe transform so that interface we should implement the class should be implement so for and this pipe pipe transform having the method as transform okay so implement that method implement pipe transform and this pipe transform having method called transform transform and this method will be called so this method can uh, accept first argument as a value so guys uh, as we see here the value which is uh, so this value is the first argument that transform function and the second value will be the uh, exponential value okay so let's provide value of type number and the second value which is the exponential so exp of type so i'll take as a string so I, and then later it uh, convert into the float exp of type string now let's define one variable power uh, and assign as one okay so let's check if exponential is not null if exp then assign the power equals to this dot power this dot power equals to uh, we having the method in the javascript so that's a uh, parse float okay so if it if it's not null then it convert into the uh, float value and assign to the power okay so exp uh, this function uh, will return the number value so how to define the return type of any function so how do we provide the return type of a transform function so uh, yeah, in front of prototype we need to we need to provide the return type of it so it will return the number number format okay so let's calculate our power so return math dot math dot power it takes the first argument our value value it's the local comma power so this is this dot this dot power so it will return the power of that part, uh, value okay our pipe is it almost created now next is register this pipe with our application with the uh, in the app module okay so let's open our app module app module dot ts now import our pipe our class name is power pipe power pipe from in the current directory power dot pipe no need to define the ts extension okay so and this pipe should be registered in the declaration array okay so comma this so it is available for uh, in our application so anywhere we can use uh, this pipe okay so let's open our app dot component dot ts slash h2 and in that i interpolate one value so i'm providing here two pipe power pipe and then provide first argument as a exponential value so i'm as a string okay so i'm passing here two so let's save and run our application control shift p new command npm start okay guys our application is running and uh, we having the output as a four okay so i'll change here to three and save it so it gives the 
uh, three square that is nine. Okay, let's uh, uh, modify this app so we can provide the input value. Let's define variable as a number which is type of number and assign as a one. Okay, first and other one is power power which is type of string. Okay and uh, let's assign is as a one now create a form form slash form and inside first take label slash label enter number so we are taking the as a input as a this number okay so input value input type equals to a text and uh, i'm using here two-way binding that is a uh, how to use uh, so if you don't know about the two-way bindings and all so i'll uh, put link below in the description section so about the uh, in the previous video which is uh, i explained the uh, two-way binding okay so how to use ng model equals to our variable that is number now name equals to number if you don't provide the name property so it will give some error okay and second one for the exponential that is a power enter power now here the value should be a variable name power next one let's display our result that is number number variable pipe symbol power text as a text as a power this variable here okay as a in, uh, first argument that is the exponential value okay now i'll make it as a result colon okay now let's see now so uh, if you want to use the ng model so we need to add the form module and uh, uh, import it into the uh, import section otherwise it will it will not work so let's change our number into uh, 4 and power into 2 so it will give the square of uh, 4 okay let's change it into the 3 so it will give the cube of 3 now we can create our custom pipes okay so guys uh, if you want to make this exponential as a uh, nullable so uh, means the optional optional parameter so we can use question mark so uh, if you want if you don't provide the uh, uh, exponential value uh, it will take as a default value as a 1 okay so let's see this also so if if i not provide here the first argument that's, that is the exponential value so it take as a default okay so this is the nullable type it display only the one so let's i change as a five so uh, it takes as a exponential as a one okay so guys in this way we can create our custom pipe so in the next video we, we are going to learn about the services so guys uh, let's recap our pipe creation uh, custom pipe creation uh, steps so first you create the pipe uh, so class typescript class and uh, decorate it with the pipe and it takes the first name uh, as a property name as a name which is uh, which is the name of the pipe implement that pipe transform so it having the transform method okay so it contains the first first argument as a value which is going uh, going to transform and uh, the next one the next value which is the parameter of the pipe and uh, we can define the return type by using colon so in this way we can create our custom pipe so in the next video we are going to see about we are, we are going to learn about the services if you have any question so please comment in the below section and don't forget to like share subscribe and share so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video